Okay, great. Pete, how about giving us a, a deep dive demo uh, specifically of plug power plus Matterport plus Zuant 3D specifically related to the symposium? And then uh, Tracy, if you want to comment at any point while Pete's going through his show and tell, uh, please feel free to jump in. Sure. Good. So, I mean, this is the stream once you've logged in. And um, interestingly, this is the first time we use the, the Matterport Pro 3 camera, uh, uh, which was a really good test to show the quality of, of uh, 3D photography outdoors as well as indoors. So, so Pete, I'm look. Excuse me, I'm looking at a still picture. So is this, okay. So this is a Matterport tour, and you're you're right outside the. We're right outside. This is, uh, was taken, I think, on a Friday evening, before the event the following week, and I guess that's the sun going down, and there's a guy walking over to a truck there. So that's that gave a very nice quality okay. introductory. And, and for clarification, help help us understand the frame that this Matterport tour is living in. So, so this is the, the Zoant 3D frame, and, and this allows us to um, obviously provide some additional branding. Um, but the key thing here is, is to provide navigation. So particularly in this case, we didn't want people just wandering around and, and, and getting lost or going into confidential areas. So we were able to create a really nice flow along the tour and Tracy I imagine this was very similar to the sequence for the the 200 odd people that were there in person absolutely yeah and then uh, using the matter tags to be able to so run. Daniel O'Connell is the CEO of plug power so he's doing the the welcome greeting well he's actually the general manager of this facility of this ah. data factory uh, Andy Marsh is Plug CEO. Thank you. So, okay. and so again, there is sound, but you've turned it down for the purpose of, of yes, our it, walkthrough. It, it, indeed. So, so most of the visitors would would have gone through here and, and listened to the, welcome the to our introduction. Facility, home of the world's first and largest pen stack and electrolyzer gigafactory. This facility has a capacity of over 2.5 gigawatts of electrical output. And okay, so that, that's awesome. We, 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 we get it. So that's easy. Okay. Um, and I and see then, you on the right side, it says next is plate stamping, though I'm looking down a hallway. So I imagine what's going to happen is when you hit plate stamping, you're going to skip spaces that uh, plug power didn't necessarily want to sh show people. Yep, indeed. So here we are at plate ceiling. And if you're into plate ceiling, you'd, you'd want to watch the next video. So um, Dennis Sharp was the uh, guy in charge of this particular area. And so we got a video for him to intro introduce this stage. And so are we able to look as a 360 in terms of being in the plate ceiling space indeed so you can see various aspects here a few more videos so not too much to to browse around ah, but, but i think this is probably important because uh that's been blurred so yeah. i imagine that uh tracy you, you or your team specified that that we can't show whatever is on on those flat plates exactly uh, it's So that's that's plate ceiling. And uh, for, again, for clarification, is uh, is the one in the green? Is that Matterport? Is that Zuant? This this is a classic Matterport um, video, um, as as a, a matter tag um, inserted. But of course, we're tracking how long people look at a video, and so this becomes part of the the dwell time. Um, on the sales leads that, that are captured. Okay. So that's that's classic Matterport. Um, if, if a sales guy was was using this one to one with a visitor, they may not want to go through the tour. So you can hop to different sections. 
So if he had a customer interested in stack assembly, uh, he or she would, would jump straight to that. Um, but interestingly for the symposium, uh, people seem to religiously walk through the whole tour and it's amazing how engaged they got. They, you know, they're into their subjects here. Well, uh, unless there was something else on the front end, maybe you could take us into the back end, end which is really the, the magic, the secret sauce for Zuant 3D. Okay. Absolutely. So was, it, was there anything else on the front end that you wanted to show us, Pete? Um, not particularly. No, there's various steps all the way through the tour. So if you're into to hydrogen plants, this is your thing. And um, Tracy, I don't know if there are any other points that, that you had feedback on that uh, people found interesting here. No, I mean, I, th I think the idea of being able to see inside of a, a working gigafactory is in itself uh, an opportunity. I know not everybody's into that kind of thing, but if you are, this is an exceptional opportunity to to see yeah. how these things are set up and how they work. Put together. Good. So for Tracy and her team, um, she has the power to to go into the back end of the system. So in the future, we hope to line up these additional um, in, place cards, if you like to describe each of, of the factories. Okay, so we're in the content management system, the CMS for yes. Zuant 3D, and we're now looking at a, a demo account of the plug, the uh, plug Power Symposium 2022. Yes, well, this is the real account. Okay. So this is, is uh, like the content hub where we, we'd add additional uh, Matterport scans or different tours, or maybe Tracy, the future, you want a Chinese or a Japanese version, you know, so you could have different tours in different languages using exactly the same scan, but but prepackaged. So, 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 uh, so let me stop you here, Pete, because I, I don't want to have you end up showing something we don't have permission for. So may, should we come off the tour and then talk about the different activities and lead and radar and what all that means? Sure. So in activity, this is what um, Tracy, you were talking about. So you, you've both got an activity grid, so you can see. Ah, OK, like, so we, we have we have some some data that's just you, Pete, that we can look at me. and not look at some some other data. OK, great. Yes, mm -hmm. in, in, indeed. Um, and this then gets packaged up. So once someone's left a space or there's been no activity for five minutes, um, we've set that time and it then creates a sales lead. Before, before we go there, so, so let's go slowly over this page because there's a, there's a lot that probably really matters. And maybe you could help us explain what those different categories are and why that's golden sure so as tracy was explaining to cut the chase for a sales guy he or she would want to know what the priority interest was for an individual in the space so what did they dwell on the most um, and what did they skip through so the, the sales lead once it's condensed um, after someone's left the tour, um, you'll, you'd be able to see those activities um, and summarized so that you've, you've got the, the person's contact details plus what their main interests were. So, so it, in this gives a really good case, indication. Which, yeah, in this particular case, which is your, your email address is showing up and there's a date stamp and, and which experience that you're in is this symposium, we can see that you how much time you spent in the plate sealing, the plate stamping uh, zones, and within those zones, which points you were looking at and spending time. Indeed, indeed. On, on this page, which kind of gives you the number of, the number of interactions per se that that let's say you had looking at, at the tour, uh, is there a scoring system or is that something that's coming to help aid the salespeople so that you turn this raw data into uh, 
Yes. So the start of this is radar. So that's that's the next thing. So you can see all of the people that have been in the space uh, through the course of today, um, where they left the space. And the higher the score at this stage, so these are actual views of other visitors who, who have been in, in the uh, plug power um, digital twin today, the higher the score, um, the, the more time and the more activities someone has taken ah, okay. in that space. Okay. Is there anything else to show us on the back end? Yes, there is. So um, radar is the precursor to a soon to be launched feature, which is chat and video. So you can connect this to your inside sales team, your contact center agents, so that they can be monitoring this and then diving in, maybe as a receptionist in plug power uniform uh, to say, well, I see you, you know, you've been in the space and you, you're spending a lot of time looking at plate ceiling, for instance, uh, can I help you? So I think that's the final step in making a digital twin, something that's almost better than a, a real life. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, I promise to ask you about that. I, I want to okay. really stay in the case study of what actually sure. happened. So, okay. so dur during the symposium, was it possible for Plug Power to uh, see in real time what was happening? Yes, indeed. So um, if we go to the dates of the symposium itself, which was in October, Let's go back to say the 14th of Friday was probably the shoot and then run that to the end of the month. So it's now generating the stats on the dashboard to show exactly what happened. And, and the numbers are terrific. So in that period of time, you can see this symposium activity peaked at 65,000 activities. So that's that's wonderful engagement, you know, compared to tracking the few seconds that someone goes onto your website and looks at a one or two pages and disappears off again. Th th these guys had an average of 65 activities within that, that space. So that, that's really good engagement and over 2,000 uh, unique visitors were in there. Um, and, you, you know, if that number of people suddenly turned up at your exhibition booth or wanted to attend in person to this event, you'd, you'd be swamped and you couldn't engage with them all. So it, it allows the servers to cope with that traffic um, and then gives Tracy um, a view of where people spent the most time. And, you know, obviously the welcome page and the lobby is the first one. Um, but uh, over time, you'll start to see uh, which areas were the, were the most interesting. Um, and the fact that it's such a flat line here from station to station actually shows engagement, doesn't it? Because they stayed in and wanted to do the whole tour. So that was, you know, extremely good job, well done. Yes. Tracy, looking at this page, do you have any comments? Uh, just kind of reiterating the things that Pete said, you know, again, we would never have reached this number of people if we didn't have such a, a platform. And again, um, going back to that, I was going to say the same thing that Pete said, when you see that linear um, steady graph there of, of engagement in the different tour stops, it does prove the point that everybody stuck it out and you know it, it, it dropped off a little bit towards the end but not by much so they really were engaged in the process of making these things and had this only been a matterport tour i'm going to call it a vanilla matterport tour you wouldn't know any of this no again that would have helped visually that would have helped give people some insight into our our gigafactory but we would not have known what they were interested in 
So you really got to see that you had 2,000 unique visitors come to the symposium and uh, in a in a delightful way experience everything that they could see with nearly equal amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's surprisingly consistent. It, it shows tremendous engagement, really, much to our surprise, I think. And I think there's more on this dashboard that you wanted to show, Pete. Um, it, 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 we can change and adjust this dashboard. You know, this is our suggested dashboard for clients to use. Okay. But basically, if we've got the data, we can present anything anyone wants. So you know, we've added things like most frequent departure points. Well, here you are. I think the hydrogen fueling system was probably the last step in the tour. So it meant that they stayed right to the end, things like that. 